welcome to MM Design or mm, Design. <laughs> so this is a part three. Yes, part three of the men's fashion trends for spring summer 2022. And this video is gonna concentrate on accessories rather than actual like clothing trends. If you'd like to see those, like what colors or patterns and actual clothes that are going to be popular, you can take a look at my two previous videos that are going to be linked down below or you'll find them somewhere on the screen at the end of the video. But today we're talking about hats jewelry, shoes, bags, etc. As I always do, I like to start from head down. So let's talk about different hats that I've seen a lot on the runways. So there are plenty of example of baseball hats. Uh, Louis Vuitton had just a, such a huge amount of those baseball hats. We also see kind of like a little bit of a curve to them. And yeah, Dolce Gabbana also had a few of those hats on their one runways. They can be colorful or they can be more like a sports team kind of a feel to them, like in the Louis Vuitton. But if you are living in more of a colder climate, I know the northern summer is hot, but the southern summer is cold. So we do still see balaclava hats and those are primarily only in Louis Vuitton shows. And of course, our bucket hats are still here. They're still relevant. We see such a overwhelming amount of them on the runways, whether they're bright and colorful or maybe they're a little bit more like you know, tan color and not very in your face. Uh, Dolce Gabbana had like crystals all over theirs and we we see such a huge amount of these on the runways. Prada had once again their little take on the hat and had a little a little pocket or like a coin purse. I don't know what you would put in there. Maybe your headphones. That's actually a good idea for your headphones. And had like little spaces for your sunglasses on it. Like love it. We see some patent leather ugh, bucket hats. Very good for like being out in the sun, I guess. Celine had many of those hats and Dior actually had the bucket hats and a little kind of approach. Uh, to this attached to it. So I'm guessing so it's not gonna fly away or something. And yeah, let's talk about brooches. We've seen a few brooches on the runways. We've seen the Christian Dior brooches that attach to the hats or maybe just without the hat attachment thing. We also seen them in Dolce Gabbana show, a few of those. And I believe Yves Saint Laurent also had a a brooch if you'd like to spice up your maybe your suit or your shirt that's a great way to do it all right so let's talk about sunglasses we see a variety of sizes and colors and such but the thing that grabbed my attention we have very colorful frames very colorful either like bright neon green or yellows we also see them in kind of a smaller format almost like a sports we also see kind of a tinted colored sunglasses um doesn't really matter which which color at all christian dior had them kind of a medium to small size um basically there is i like is there sunglasses that aren't trendy i don't know so whenever i talk about sunglasses and choosing them for yourself i'm talking about go what goes with your face rather than what's super trendy. If something that's super trendy isn't really, you know, making your face look better, then don't get it. All right, let's move on to the next one. Let's talk about like jewelry. So we see a lot of pendant style necklaces on men. And particularly if you have like a very deep v-neck or maybe like an unbuttoned shirt, we have that on the skin. Lots and lots of shows had that happening. We had that at Etro. We had an, a lots of layered necklace in Dolce Gabbana. Uh, Celine had a lot of pendants. Another type of necklaces that we've seen around were chokers. Celine, it was either a pendant or a choker. We also see a few chokers in a few different different shows that I can't quite remember the name of, but that's all right. You are looking at the photos right now. 
Okay, well, let's talk about bags now. We see a lot of shopper bags, like a tote bag. We see a lot of them in Roberta Cavalli. We also see them in Paul Smith, Etro, you name it. It's a very comfortable bag that is very, I wouldn't say gender neutral. And if you need some space for your things, then it's a very nice bag to have. I was thinking like, why would you even need one? Because you guys have pockets while women have fake pockets most of the time. It's so difficult to find a piece that actually has real pockets. It's, it's a struggle that you guys will never understand. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's move on to a different type of bag. So we see a lot of belt bags or a sling type of bag. So it's very close to the body. These are my particular favorite bags just because they don't take use of your arms and they're super easy to wear, whether it's just kind of a cross body, but very close to you, or as I mentioned, a sling bag. Christian Dior had a few of their belt bags, kind of that saddle bag, but on a belt. Anyways, <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> and once again, for the bags, we also see more like a smaller purse type of like a clutch and a few shows. Also like a bucket bag or just a crossbody, bigger messenger type bags. And yeah, Christian Dior even had a bag that would go on your forearm. It's pretty interesting. I uh, wonder how comfortable it is to wear it. If you like this content, and so far please consider to like this video and subscribe to this channel and this will help me out a very 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 much thank you all right you guys let's talk about shoes and since i am from the northern hemisphere let's talk about the more of a warmer climate shoes so we see a lot of kind of a slip on slippers whether they are kind of in a clog type like we've seen in etro and we've seen a few few seasons of those clogs coming back in the women's fashion but if maybe men's it makes sense for men's to be there too or we all have kind of an open toe slipper type shoe doesn't really matter we also see a few sandal type like dad sandal type of shoes which were quite popular a few seasons in a row so far and it's honestly my favorite shoe to wear at the moment so comfortable and of course for the shoes flip-flops have never haven't really left anywhere don't really have a lot to say about flip-flops they're comfortable they're cool okay if you're living in more of a colder climate for the spring summer 2022 we have such an incredible amount of combat boots combat boot is also one of my favorite shoes to wear maybe not in the summertime for me uh, but it is such a comfortable very reliable shoe and i just love it i can't really say anything anything bad about it at all it's yeah it's one of my favorites so, so we see this in so many shows like celine we see it in Roberta Cavalli, we also see it in Balenciaga. Let's talk about cowboy boots. Another one of my new favorite shoe is the cowboy boot. And we see this cowboy boot paired with so many different styles. Like in Celine, they paired it more like, like a rocker style. And even sometimes with the kind of more of a voluminous tops and or or even voluminous pants, kind of 90s meets cowboy style. It's, it's a little bit weird, but I like it. We also see like a completely cowboy kind of inspired outfits as well from Thebe Magugu and I love it. We also see some loafer type shoes and particularly like very bright and colorful. Like in Dolce Gabbana show, they kind of matched the aesthetic of the, it wasn't like, mm, let me see, think about it. So the shoe wasn't a statement shoe. It kind of matched the colorfulness of the entire outfit, if you know what I mean. Instead of having like a very subtle outfit and very bright shoes, everything was bright. We also see this in MSGM. We also see this in Moschino show, having a very bright outfit and matching it with a very bright shoes. Louis Vuitton also had very bright sneakers matching a very bright outfit and if you're not a fan of super bright shoes don't worry there are plenty of regular shoes that were present on the runways it's just i don't know they're there you already have them it's nothing new it's nothing really crazy 
mind-blowing or anything like that. Another pair of shoes that was starting to come out are heels. So we've seen heels in not too many shows, but there were present in Yves Saint Laurent show. There was two looks with heels and of course Rick Owens was already having boot type heel for men for a few seasons, maybe even like all the time. I haven't followed Rick Owens for that long to know, but we do see a lot of increase in men's heels. As for belts, we do see kind of different type belts. We have some, not a lot, of chains on the waistline or just on yeah, like a decorative piece on the belt itself. We also see a little bit of cinching. I'm not sure if it's like a cor little corset that is worn on Dolce Gabbana had two looks with that and Louis Vuitton had kind of more cinched waist in a few looks. So maybe if you like that, keep an eye on it. Also, Burberry had a few of those kind of a tighter waist outfits. And probably the biggest accessory that you could find on the runways was having a very nice body. There are so many, like not shirtless, but like you know, very, very deep v-necks or unbuttoned shirts that were happening on runways. So a little six pack is a perfect accessory with that. I know it's so hard to get, but we can thrive. I don't know, did all the designers think that we were just like in the gym every day while in quarantine? Like, no, you guys, you guys, let's be realistic here. We binged watched a bunch of different shows and ate like horrible, horrible foods, lots of comfort foods. So yeah let's let's get started on those six packs yeah all right you guys here we go these are the accessory trends that caught my eye if you'd like to see more about the men's trends here are a few links that will pop up or if you can't find them on the screen just go down in the description box thank you very much for watching this to the end i really appreciate it if you haven't already subscribed maybe consider to do so because this is a fashion channel if you like fashion you might as well i hope you have a great day and yeah stay classy bye Thank you.